This is CMN. This is Canadian MGTOW. Having fun, and not giving a shit about Toronto feminists. Today's video is an update to my video from June 2015. Canadian man faces jail for disagreeing with feminist bullies. Today, January 22, 2016 there was a verdict. A rare victory for free speech in Canada. Gregory Allen Elliott, the Toronto artist who was dragged through an extraordinary three-year criminal harassment trial after he disagreed with two feminists on the internet, has just been acquitted. Elliot was charged with criminal harassment after he tweeted a number of critical messages to feminist activist Stephanie Guthrie in 2012. He has incurred several hundred thousand dollars in debt over the course of the legal battle, and has even had his artwork vandalized by progressive activists. Freedom of expression represents society's commitment to tolerate the annoyance of being confronted by unacceptable views. One man's vulgarity is another man's lyric, the judge said, quoting from Robert Sharp and Kent Roach's book The Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The judge also noted a lack of reasonableness in Guthrie's assertion she could expect to use Twitter to make negative comments about Elliot and not be exposed to his response or self-defense. It's been a very very long process, Elliot's lawyer Christopher Murphy said, adding that's longer than some murder trials. I think what His Honor is saying is you're allowed to express your view as long as your view doesn't cross any criminal thresholds. As long as you're expressing a political view and you're expressing the view that is not threatening or sexually harassing then you do not need to worry about being arrested for it. During the trial the lawyer argued the feminist pair continued to taunt Elliot even after blocking him and they wouldn't have done so if they were genuinely afraid of him. If you look into the backgrounds of the co-complainants and their connections with local police, city councillors, journalists and other political figures, you'll maybe understand why this went as far as it did. Neither Guthrie nor Riley made themselves immediately available to reporters for comment. What a shock! They probably couldn't muster fake tears on demand, that quickly. It's absolutely ridiculous that someone needs to go to court and go through bankruptcy to protect his freedom of speech. Vindictive bitches shouldn't go slandering and destroying a man and his family with the support of a state without paying a penny. The cost should be billed to Guthrie and the other disgusting feminists who brought this case in the first place. Feminists like Guthrie haven't lost anything. They've only been denied an additional level of special status by our government. If you would like to donate to the Elliot's trial fund, the link is in the video description box below. I will leave with a quote, that was originally said by the feminist Amanda Marcotte, who in her quote was attacking religion. By replacing the word religion with feminism, I created a quote that rings very true, feminism is an idea, and, as an idea, it should be eligible for criticism, discussion, and yes, mockery. The only reason so many believers demand special exceptions be made for feminist ideas is because they know full well that their ideas don't hold up well under scrutiny. This concludes this article. If you agreed with this video, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Thank you. This is Canadian MGTOW, signing off. Save yourself. Go MGTOW.